Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're taking a look at an ISO called Windows XP to 2000. As the name implies, this is a modification of Windows XP that makes it look and feel like Windows 2000. In the past, we've taken a look at a build called Windows XP 2 ME, which did the exact same thing as this, except this is obviously meant to be Windows 2000, and that build was meant to be Windows ME. This build is developed by a developer called Orion. I know I say that name wrong every time. We've taken a look at quite a few of their mods, but I know I say it wrong every time, so I do apologize for that. But let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm really excited to see what this ISO looks like because we take a look at a lot of modern ISOs on this YouTube channel, Windows 10, Windows 11, but we really don't often go back to the days of Windows XP or Windows 2000. In fact, the last time I did a video at all on anything that referenced Windows 2000 was 2023. All right, so here we go. We can see that the setup screen itself is fully customized to be Windows 2000. So we got the Windows 2000 branding. But the one thing that I know is wrong well, I think is wrong, I can't say for certain, is that right here where it says Microsoft Windows 2000 TM, I believe it should say professional. I know it says it up here, but regardless, that's just me nitpicking. I, I might even be wrong. Setup did not find any hard disk drives installed on your computer, and I know exactly why, because I listen to VMware's recommendations blindly and add a SCSI drive when I need an IDE drive. So we're gonna go ahead and get that added here. All right, and here we go. So we are now going to go ahead and click back into the VM. It must have detected disk now. Yep, there it is. We're gonna go NTFS quick and go ahead and install. So that's really all the intervention we should need for now because now it's gonna format the disk, copy files over, and then we should reboot into an out of box experience. All right, and here we are in the Windows 2000 setup wizard. Again, remember that as much as this looks like Windows or Windows 2000, it is supposedly Windows XP on the back end. Should I believe that or not? Right now, I kind of don't because I haven't seen any signs of Windows XP, which is a very good sign, don't get me wrong. But it makes it hard to believe. Like with Windows 10, when we do like 10 to XP or 10 to 2000 conversions, we can see some elements of Windows 10. But because Windows XP and Windows 2000 are so close, I mean, they're both running on the NT kernel, right now at least, it's really hard to tell if this is really Windows XP. All right, let's go ahead and move through the setup. We can go ahead and give ourselves a name. So we'll just name this Windows. And here it's asking for a product key. Now this will be the real test of if this is XP or 2000 because archive.org page said I needed to use an XP key. And it took an XP professional volume key, so it must really be Windows XP on the back end. That is incredible that it even looks like this. I mean, this really replicates Windows 2000, but Let's let this continue through the setup and we'll be back once we're on the desktop with VMware tools. Or wait, nope, we have more configuration to do. We're not on a network or we're in a network without a domain. Continue. Because again, remember, Windows 2000 was meant for business. The Windows ME was the home version, 2000 was the business version. So while ME may not have had the option to do a work group or a domain, 2000 does because that's what it was meant to do. All right, and here we are on the desktop of Windows XP to 2000. Just initial impressions for even look at the operating system, I'm impressed because I can't tell that this is XP. But let's dive a little deeper. Here in the taskbar we have our system time, which opens up the clock as it would in Windows 2000. We have VMware tools, an update reminder telling us to protect our PC with automatic updates. I would be curious to know if this is Windows XP or Windows 2000 updates that it's going to try to install, but regardless, there are no updates available anymore. Then have our volume slider with the Windows 2000 ding. And then we have safer remove hardware, which, yep, looks pretty standard. Moving over to the left side of the taskbar, we have internet connection. Oh, no, that's Outlook, but it opens internet connection wizard because we don't have an internet connection. Same thing here. Uh, let's see if we can connect through a LAN. LAN, let's go through this. Don't want to use a proxy server. Don't want an internet account. It's really crazy how much work you had to do to get on the internet back in the day. Um, let's see if we can even get to Google. Let's see, google.com. Hey, at least it loaded, bing. So we do have an internet connection and this is saying it's IE6, pretty cool. Then we have the show desktop button as we did back there. Before we jump into the taskbar, or the start menu rather, let's take a look here at our desktop icons. We have my documents, which contains my music and my pictures followed by my computer. So we have local disk C, uh, which 
uh, while we're in here, let's take a look at disk usage. So I only gave this VM an eight gig disk because why do we need more than that? Um, this OS is using 1.17 gigs, which means we have 6.81 gigs free. I wish modern Windows installs fit on an eight gig disk. Nowadays, the ISO alone is almost eight gigs. Then we have my network places. We can see our LAN connection. All right, let's go ahead and move down. We lastly have Internet Explorer, which we already did take a look at. Now let's open the start menu where we can see that it perfectly replicates the one that's seen in Windows 2000 with the Windows 2000 banner along the left side. At the top we have Windows Update. We have all of our traditional Windows 2000 programs. Let's go down this list. Uh, do you have Pinball? Again, I, I don't know if Pinball came with 2000 or not, but I, know, I think it did. Uh, but definitely let me know down in the comments below. System Tools, Address Book, Calendar, Command Prompt, Imaging, Notepad, Paint, Synchronize, which allows you to make a network copy of materials, the Windows Explorer, and then WordPad. Nothing in Startup, Internet Explorer, Outlook Express. Then we have, of course, our documents, our settings, our search, our help, and our run. Let's take a look in Task Manager to see our CPU and RAM utilization, as I do in all of my videos. And it looks like that this is actually not running. So when I try to run Task Manager, I got the procedure entry point could not be located in the dynamic link library. So I guess we're not getting Task Manager today. <laughs> No big deal. Uh, the archive.org page did say that this may still have some bugs. It came out in November of 2025, so just a month and a half, two months ago. Lastly, let's go ahead and take a look at our Winver. We can see that it is saying Windows 2000, 1981 through 1999, build 5.0. Let's see if, I don't know if I can get there or not, but if I can identify any sort of files on this disk that were modified in 2001 for Windows XP, or did they, yeah, they just copied everything. I mean, this is all Windows 2000 stuff. I mean, this is kind of crazy. So with that being said, this was an overview of Windows XP to 2000. Definitely let me know what you think about this down in the comments below, and if you have any other ISOs that you would like me to take a look at. If you like this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here as we do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.